Uh, this is the screen of a, a laptop. I just put Linux Mint 20.3 in. I tried uh, other versions, other distributions with it, but uh, the 20.3 is the first uh, one that I downloaded that uh, I <coughs> made a bootable USB and uh, it's the very first successful install that I've done on this computer. It's a computer I bought oh, a couple years ago to uh, reprogram my my Windows uh, or reprogram the, my truck because it had some corrupt stuff in it. But it's a touch screen. Uh, I used Bellina once I got the ISO from Mint, Linux Mint. I downloaded that, then I used Bellina to flash it to a USB drive. There's there's uh, Firefox. I just booted up in there. I got DuckDuckGo for my home page when I go in there. And I haven't even done anything. I haven't put any of my favorite spots to go to or anything in this computer yet. But I plan on it. And uh, I'll touch the exit here for it. Back to the, the mint screen. But I had to turn all the lights off in this room so that I could actually record this. Because my ref reflection and all the reflection of stuff behind me was on the... It was really... Uh, Making it making it hard to see what was going on with this desktop. However, this is one that I picked from the, the Linux Mint desktops. Uh, I might end up picking another one because I'm really into air guns and stuff like that. So I might have it might have some. Maybe I'll put one of my favorite air guns in there. Anyways, I just thought I'd uh, put this on a video and let people see that it can be done. This is an old laptop. It's a Hewlett Packard. Uh, as you can see, it works really good. Everything in it works good. But I wanted to get rid of Windows 10. It, it was terrible. It was the worst. I don't like Microsoft to begin with. And I don't like Google. There's a lot of things I don't like, but, you know, some of it you got to use. But anyways, uh, this thing is completely void from Windows now. Uh, but uh, it's not, it doesn't have a huge hard drive. It's only a 100 gig hard drive. It's got a Celeron, Celeron 2 processor in it. It's the uh, Hewlett Packard. Uh, X360 11 uh, G1 EE I think is what it is that's what this computer is and uh, this operating system works really good in it that's all I got